What's going on guys and welcome back to LOI TV. Now today we're going to do predictions for the opening weekend of the LOI season. But before jumping into the video guys, I want to give a quick shout out to our sponsors OneFootball. OneFootball is the ultimate platform for everything football. It provides the latest news, match updates, transfers and statistics from over 160 leagues worldwide. The app is free to download on iOS and Android so make sure to check out the link in our description below. First of all, we're going to start at Daily Mount Park where Bowes are playing at home to Finn Harps. Bowes obviously coming into this one on the back of great form at the end of last season. But as for Finn Harps, who were great last season, promoted, um, it could be a good game. Uh, I can see it being a little bit of a tight one, to be honest. Um, Finn Harps coming into it, I, I think there'll be a lot of confidence. They'll nothing to lose, really. Um, I could see a 1 1. I think Bowes will obviously be favourites to go into People are probably expecting to get a narrow win, but. I'm going to go with 1-1. Next up we have Derry City playing host to UCD. This is another one that's kind of tricky to call. Um, Derry obviously coming into a bit more confidence this season. They were poor at the end of the last year but they've got a lot of new signings in. They'll be feeling good. A couple of players, Barry McNamee in particular, that could be crucial in this game. UCD on the other hand have lost a few good players and um, obviously haven't brought anything in. So oh, I'm going to go with a narrow Derry City win. I'm going to go 2-1 to Derry. Next up you have the champions Dundalk playing at home to Sligo Rovers. I think this is a foregone conclusion. I think everyone knows that Dundalk probably should win this comfortably enough. Um, Sligo won't make it easy, but I do see Dundalk being comfortable winners in the end. I'm going to go with 3-0. I think um, it's going to be a good opportunity for maybe Jordan Flores, Daniel Kelly to Sean Murray maybe to make their debuts and kind of show what they're all about and stuff. Pat Hoban maybe get his goals started for the season. It could be a good chance for Dundalk to get off to a good start, get a bit of a game away on some of their rivals. So, I think it's going to be a comfortable 3 0 win for Dundalk. Next up, you have St. Pat's who are playing at home to Cork City in a huge game. I really don't know which way this one's going to go. Could really swing either way. Um, maybe I'd say people could see a draw here. But personally, I think Cork on the back of last season really kind of poor towards the end. They weren't playing nice football. I remember I watched them at Bowes and they were really poor. I think they, that kind of hangover could loom over them a little bit coming into the new season. A little bit of underwhelming transfer business done. So I think there could be a little bit of negativity slightly around the place so I'm gonna go with a home win. I'm gonna go St. Pat's to give I think it could give Cork the little boost like a bit of a kick that they need for the rest of the season really. And I'm gonna go with a Pat's two and a win. Get off to a great start. Harry Kenny obviously be ideal to get to off to a good start. And um, yeah I'm gonna go with a Pat's two and a win. And on to the last game of this game week and a crucial one in the running for European football, Waterford playing at home to Shadow Rovers. Third and fourth from last season and um, could be a great game. I think both teams will try and play football. Um, so it'll be a good spectacle for the fans. Shamrock Rovers sold out their uh, away end a couple of days ago, which is great to see. Um, a lot of fans travelling down. Um, yeah, so they'll be backed heavily. Uh, obviously, positivity from the transfers they've made. A couple of good players coming in. Aaron McEnough in particular, make, looking to make a good impression. Jack Byrne also. So looking forward to the game. I can't separate these two. I'm going to go for a one-all draw. I think Waterford at home, especially, they'll be good there this season. I haven't been too inspired from their signings, particularly going forward. I think they needed a striker. They haven't really addressed that issue. They've no Hunt and Courtney Dufus obviously last season. So I think uh, Ishmael Akinadi has a lot of weight on his shoulders this season. I don't think he can provide what they need to really crack that top three. I'm going to go for a one all in this game. And um, yeah, I think I think that'd be it. both teams will probably take that opening day of the season. You don't want to lose, so I think both teams will take that. So there you have it, guys. My predictions for the opening weekend of the season. What do you guys think? Am I really off the mark? Am I in or around? What you would be agreeing with? Let me know in the comments below. Leave all your predictions in the comments below. Also, I'll reply to every single one. Make sure to like the video, share and subscribe.